And welcome to Just Kane with your host, Just Kane. So hi, what are we talking about today? Well, I thought we'd do something a little fun today. We're going to do a spooky episode. So why am I doing a spooky episode? Well, I like the paranormal. I like anything spooky. Oh look, and as always, we have a little pussy cat coming to say hello. This is my Toby Daniel. Say hello, Toby. You yeah, say hello. Say hello to the nice people. Yeah, they've all come to watch you. Give, give, give me a cuddle. Yeah, I love you. And of course, no video would be complete without Her Royal Highness, Miss Jasper Do. Say hello, Jasper. Yeah, yeah. We're recording another vlog, so will you please behave? So, hi. Um, so, yeah, I like everything paranormal. I like um, ghosts, ghoulies, anything haunted. Um... So I thought I'd do a spooky episode. We've got some great little clips for you. I know I haven't had a shave today, so I know, who cares? I haven't shaved. Um, because I couldn't be bothered, to be quite honest. And I've got uh, Fuss Jasper, because she's demanding fusses. Yes, because she's a cutie pie. Anyway, so, um, now... Do I believe in the paranormal? Uh, yes, in a word, because I grew up in a haunted house. Um, one story that I can tell you about is that uh, years ago, mum used to like to go to these uh, auctions where you could buy boxes of crap for, you know, a pound. Yeah, Jasper. And uh, one day she brought home this pinball machine from around the 1970s. Well, um... She put it in our room and that night it started playing itself. The only trouble was it had no plug on it so it couldn't light up. Mum came upstairs and witnessed it happening and immediately boxed it up and put it in the attic. Now it was in the attic for about nine years. When Mum finally moved out of the house she sent my brother up into the attic to fetch the stuff out from the attic. So which he did, obviously. And when he went up into the attic and this thing, this box was put at the back of the attic and nobody had been near it in all these years. He found it out of its box, on its stand, in the middle of the attic. Totally spooky. We always get randomly, pans would throw themselves out the kitchen cupboards and um, you'd see a little girl on the stairs and I always thought it was my sister and then it turned out it wasn't. But anyway, so we grew up in a haunted house, which is fine. So... Um, I've uh, been given a couple of clips by some really nice people. What I've got um, is from Ellie Boiling from the Dolphin Inn in Littlehampton. Um, now, as you watch this clip, please watch the gentleman that walks by the table. You'll see something fly out the top of his head. And it's very scary, isn't it, Jasper? Jasper. Yes. Very scary. I don't know if you can see her, but she's uh, definitely... She likes to mill around in front of the camera. Um, I do think she likes the camera. <laughs> she likes the attention. But anyway, let's watch this clip. So the next clip we've got is from uh, Rachel Milling Millington. Midlington. Sorry, I should say. <clears throat> well, this was recorded in the morning um, and she noticed some strange mist milling around the chair. So she started recording it. So it's a pretty interesting clip. Is it paranormal? Well, that's for you to decide. Personally, I think there's a point in the clip that um, it actually looks like a person. But uh, let's see what you think. So, if we watch at the very beginning of this clip, you can see round about here that it starts to form what looks like a person. 
I think it's incredibly fascinating. What do you think, guys? And as you can see, as the clip goes on, it starts to dissipate and starts to just look like regular smoke. What do you think? So the next two things we've got, we've got two photographs. Um, one was submitted by uh, Roddy Rob, Rodeo Rob, I should say, I do apologise, keep getting these names wrong, and the Ghosts of London. Now in uh, Rodeo Rob, we see a haunted asylum. I'm not sure where it is, but Rodeo Rob, if you can get in touch and tell me where it is, that'd be great. We can link that into the comments later. Um, it's a really interesting clip and you can see the face in the window, really spooky. I love really spooky pictures because, you know, I think when they've been taken just off the hook, I mean, it's really hard to fake them, I think. And the second one was from, as I said, from the Ghosts of London. This was by somebody that was viewing a house and was taking some photographs of the basement. So, with that said, Let's have a look at these two photographs. There's the face in the window. Very, very spooky. Thanks, Radio Rob. Here in this pic, we can clearly see what looks to be an outline of a person in the doorway made out of mist. Wow, those pictures, wow, those pictures were a bit spooky, weren't they? So the next clip we've got it's from a gentleman that was walking in the woods and he sees and he spots a ghost um, running across. Um, I think it's a really spooky clip. I think the guy looks like he's got a bit of a white face. Um, and I think whenever you're walking in the woods, I always think it's a great idea to have your camera out. Because I think if you're going to see a ghost out during the day, that's where it'll be. <laughs> the cat just fell off the table. <laughs> I wish you'd caught that on camera. That was so funny. <laughs> oh my. The quality is not great on this particular clip. However, you can very clearly see what appears to be a spectre coming out from the woods there. And it looks really creepy. I mean, what's wrong with that guy's face? Now, this next clip is of a little girl who gets given a lovely gift basket by her parents. Watch what happens when she takes the first thing out of there. I mean, she's only a little squiddler and she's as cute as a button. Is this paranormal? I don't know. But it is certainly strange. So why don't we take a little look and see for ourselves. Now, this next clip, I'm a little unsure about. Because quite frankly, it could actually have been a genuine person that was spotted through the window. And what it is, is a ghost sighting in Peyton. Now, the little boy's riding his bike and his mum's gleefully recording it. And then as it passes, you see a face in the window, but... I really don't think this is enough evidence. It could genuinely have been somebody in the hotel looking out the window, but it's not for me to say. Um, it's up to you what you believe, but here we go. Take a look.
So guys, I mean, what was that? Can somebody please tell me? Um, how does that happen? I mean, if you know how that's happened, or you can debunk that in any way, you know, please, you know, give me a message in the in the comments because I'd really love to know how that was done. Now, um, finally, of course, of course, we come to the best part of the show where we shout out another YouTuber. And the one I'm shouting out today is somebody that does a lot of spooky stuff, and his name's Corey Schrader. Um, he's ever so funny, also appears in TFIL and Sam and Colby. Um, which I've already previously shouted out, but go give him a look because he's really funny. He's genuinely a lovely guy and uh, he's uh, he's such a chicken. I don't know why he does spooky stuff because he's such a bloody chicken, I swear. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. And if you like this vlog and you want to see me do more of these, let me know. I might even go to a haunted location myself and record it for you all. But for now... Don't dream it, be it. Life is yours to make. Peace out.